making sure the gear can go right and left as the tensioner needs. So I'm keeping the three bolts for the gear loose for now. So I, when I put the tensioner for the chain, the gear will turn a little bit as the, as the tensioner need. This is a new oil sprayer because the old one was damaged by the chain because the chain was damaged and the guides. I make sure the hole inside the block is clean and there's no dirt so the oil can spray on the chain really easy. I always clean this timing ring and make sure it's not damaged because this one if damaged uh, the sensor will not work on the crankshaft and the engine light will, will get on. I like to use uh, rubber grease uh, when putting on the uh, remain seal. I use plastic uh, zip tight because it's very soft when when I use it, it was very careful it, it will not damage the seal After making sure the seal is in place in the right way, I use the old seal to to fit the new seal in good position and no damage for the seal. See how I'm making sure the seal is very good with the light. So make sure the seal is fit very well. Make sure to put the timing gear or timing ring, I mean, uh, before putting on the flywheel.
I like to put silicone or Loctite on a bolt. This one is very good and uh, to stop the leak and it's good I like I, I always put silicone on the flywheel bolt if it if the bolt open to inside the engine because some some of the crankshaft open to inside can see the oil and some they are blocked if they are blocked they need just lock tight now it's time to lock the timing you see I put the pin on the flywheel I'm going to push the engine a little bit this way because the pin it's hold with the uh, engine uh, stand see and uh, I am going to put the pin on the flywheel the long hole see I put the mark uh, black so now I turn this way you remember the uh, the video part one when I put the timing for the oil pump now when putting the spin the the timing on oil pump changed now a little bit the other way now making sure this bolt and the gear doesn't touch because uh, I, I, I want to make sure they are not touching and then I tie them because if they touch in the gear that's mean the tensioner di didn't take what it's need from the chain so now it's not touching that's mean all good making sure the timing tool is on and it, it touching the, the cylinder head all the way you see all the way here and next side make sure and it touching the other side too and the front uh, three mark together on the back three mark together and uh, you see the back three marks and I make sure the POC code is up and the the number of the uh, camshaft part is up all good now see this space now I tie the bolt and the timer will be locked 100% inshallah I mean the engine timing chain will be locked after tying these two bolts I hold the timing pin uh, on the flywheel when tying because uh, to, to, to don't uh, let vibration on the chain so I keep holding a pin so don't fall down and the vibration will come on chain after tying the flywheel bolts I take off the pin the timing pin and it's it all good inshallah now I am going to turn the engine one time and put the pin back on on a flywheel after turning the engine and I make sure the the timing on the top good everywhere in the engine all the timing for the engine good just double check and then I, I put everything back to make the engine ready to start here uh, I'm telling you I, I do uh, turn the engine if I am on the flywheel side I turn it to the left to the left that means in the front of the engine the engine turning to the right because you know the tension now is different way in this engine because the chain is uh, between the gearbox and the engine so you see um, I do one turn and the other that's me one turn push it this way so I can put the pin on see almost the pin on that's it the pin on now uh, the timing on the top should be fit very easily on the camshaft and I have to see uh, the three dots in the front of the gear and the back together and the timing holder for the cam touching the uh, the cylinder head and I have to see the 
camshaft uh, part number and the and the POC number POC code on the top that's it and this one the pin in the place it's it all good and the cylinder number one is up all the way that's all and now the timing is set up 100% inshallah thanks for watching please like subscribe and comment and tell me something in the comment i see you in the next video maybe if would you like me to make more video like this support me by pushing the like button okay have a good day